Black Friday. Several hours after we celebrate being thankful for what we have, we go to Walmart and beat people with toasters to save an extra $20 on a TV. That's right, today's video is Black Friday horror stories. This was probably going to be a two-part video, so look out for part two tomorrow. But anyways, let's just get right into the video. Sorry if you see me looking down a lot, I'm reading off of my phone. I worked for Best Buy for six years. Everyone knows about the lines that you stand in outside. Part of the process is once you get into the store, you stand in another line to buy your products. Our manager thought he was particularly smart winding the line through our appliance department. Mind you, there are usually 1,500 plus people in line. Well, we get a complaint from one of our patrons. After checking the dryers, we found poop. A lady who did not want to lose her spot in line opened the dryer and went right in front of everybody. I decided that day, even though I may want stuff, I will never crap in front of an entire crowd of people for a 50 inch plasma TV for $800. I worked one Black Friday in the closed apartment at Walmart. For like two hours straight before the sale began, people hovered over the pallets, the alarm went off, and the swarm just went insane. There were two women in particular on opposite sides tossing clothes back and forth to one another. I don't know what their system was because half the stuff they were just catching and tossing aside. But this little teenager, I mean like tiny petite girl, intercepted a pair of jeans being tossed and the woman went insane and elbowed her in the face. Instant blood and the girl was so shocked she just stood there shaking and crying. The woman acted like it was perfectly reasonable thing to do. I pulled the girl out of the crowd and started to walk her to get cleaned up when the sheriff appeared out of nowhere. The best part was she was his kid and the woman was arrested on the spot. She had to post bail and pay full price for her crappy Levi's. And here is the next story. The woman was wheeling a cart in the store with several large bolts of fabric in it, which she had special ordered and we put in the cart for her so she could continue shopping. Old lady sees that this woman has all the bolts and it isn't right that she's hogging the entire stock of that particular print. The woman explains the situation and that she is she in fact special ordered these and that the reason she was coming in on Black Friday to purchase them because there was a major Black Friday sale, 60% off. The old lady continues to yell at the poor woman. The woman very calmly keeps trying to reassure her that she is not taking any of the store stock and that she makes blankets for dying women with breast cancer. She is a very sweet store regular who pays out of pocket for all the blankets, and so my store held the fabric for her until Black Friday, when she could come in and purchase them with a coupon. Old lady doesn't give a crap, whips out mace, and tackles the woman. That's like really bad. That just gives you great faith in humanity. I wonder, like, I feel like... That's like, that's like really, like that's really bad. I wonder if she like got arrested. I don't know, I mean, can you get arrested for macing somebody? Like, I think you can. A lady called 911 because we wouldn't price match with Best Buy. The police came and arrested her for misusing the emergency service. Today, one of our male customers hit another male customer upside the head with a crock pot. What were they fighting over? The crock pot. Both customers had to be dragged out of the store by police. By far the best was three grandmothers getting into a literal fist fight over the last Furby, a full on brawl, rolling around on the floor, kicking and punching. Nobody knew what to do. It took two women and a manager to pull them apart. It was the most screwed up thing I've ever seen. It is so insane how crazy people get over Furbies. I'm gonna assume it was like in the like 80s or 90s when they like originally had come out because they were super big then. I know they were big again recently, but I've heard so many stories from like, whenever they came out, 80s and 90s, I don't remember, about like how insane people were to get their hands on a Furby. There's actually quite a few Furby stories in this video, so be prepared for those. I watched a very large man trample several people to the ground and throw over his shoulder as many $1 towels as he could to his waiting family members. I watched a guy get tased because he pulled a knife on the Walmart store manager. The guy was mad because he told him he had to get into the queue, which is a line if you didn't know. I saw a girl trampled over $3 t DVDs, shoe prints on her her face and arms. This inhumane person saw they were standing on a person and just grabbed DVDs anyways. When I worked in Sam's Club during the madness one Black Friday morning, we caught a woman stuffing the inside of her pants with frozen lobster tail. She would unpackage them and throw the trash in a stack of tires that were on display. Could you imagine coming home with lobsters in your pants and your husband's just like, 
Where did you get those? Would you, would you eat lobsters that have been in somebody's pants? I mean, obviously there had to have, obviously somebody would because otherwise she wouldn't have done that. Question of the day, would you eat <laughs> pants lobsters? Here is the next story. This lady with a little kid came up to my register and set her down on the ground. The young girl began complaining about having to use the bathroom and the mom kept ignoring her and telling her to wait until we got home. The daughter ended up peeing all over my station and the mom didn't say anything about it. She paid, grabbed her bags, and then said I should clean up that mess and left. That is insane. I personally, I could never work a retail job because if somebody did that, I wouldn't know how to act. I'd probably, I'd get arrested because I'd like punch them or something. I don't deal with things well. I once worked a Black Friday at TRU. I assume that means Toys R Us. A guest sprayed mace behind them as they ran in front of the pack towards the electronics section. I witnessed a mom stick her finger down her throat and projectile vomit in the fitting room because she didn't get an extra discount. I've heard of so many weird things happening in dressing rooms that people do, like they, like they'll go to the bathroom in the dressing room. Like these little like 15, 16 year olds that work at these stores do not get paid enough to clean your extra, extra, I don't know what that word is. They do not get paid enough to clean up bodily fluids, like. <sighs> People are insane and inconsiderate. <laughs> I work at Walmart and a fight between two women broke out and one woman flipped the other woman's stroller with her baby in it over. And instead of helping her child, the mother tackled the other woman. The store manager had to pick up her child and make sure she wasn't hurt. Turns out they knew each other and had an argument before and decided that in the middle of a Walmart during Black Friday was the perfect time to fight. If you're gonna fight your friend, do it at Walmart on Black Friday. A customer was having problems finding an associate to help them in the shoe department. So what did he do? Dropped his drawers in the middle of the shoe department and crapped all over the floor. Then another customer didn't see the mess and stepped in it before it could be cleaned up. That's, that's such a mature way to handle things. If somebody doesn't help you, just use their floor as a bathroom. Also, do these people have no shame? Like they're just, you're just dropping their pants in front of everybody going to the bathroom like people are crazy there was a sale one dollar towels or something this guy jumped into the towel bin and literally growled at anyone who tried to get a towel he claimed them all i'm gonna do this one last story and then that'll be it for this video but i'll have a part two out tomorrow so be on the lookout for that my dad was a police officer when the toy of the year was tickle me elmo i'm sure every kid who grew up in the 80s remembers which i was born in 2003 and i remember having a tickle me elmo and apparently i was terrified of it so that's fun he responded to a call at Walmart or Target, can't remember which one exactly, of two women beating each other up over the last one at the store. When he went to break up the fight, one of the women bit his arm. She bit him so hard that she actually drew blood. He had to get his blood tested every six months for two years after that incident to make sure she he didn't get any diseases from her. I'm speechless. People are crazy. Like that's, that's all I've gathered from this is that people, people are insane. That's, that's it. So that is the end of this video to watch part two. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see the next part as soon as it's up. It'll be up the day after this one is. Other than that, that is it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments down below your crazy Black Friday stories or something to do with Black Friday. I am just super curious and interested in that type of stuff. I don't know. Other than that, thanks for watching. Bye! Black Friday, several hours after we th I decided that day, even though I may want stuff, I will never crap in an entire cr in front of it was because they was there. Do it at Black Friday or do it.